NECA's new Chrome Dome figure sparks some pure nostalgic fire. If you were one of the kids that wished the action figures resembled the original 80s cartoon, your wish has finally been granted. 30 years after this iconic figure was released, we now have a massive 10 inch figure that towers over all the other turtle figures. This is the closest anyone has ever come to matching the giant scale of the character that mesmerized our eyes on those nostalgic Saturday morning cartoons. Today I want to do a deep dive into this iconic character Chrome Dome from his origin to his present day iterations. So sit back, relax, it's time for Dimension X Toys. Chrome Dome was created by Michael Dooney of Mirage Studios in 1991. Collector13, a friend on Instagram, was kind enough to share these amazing animation cells from his personal collection showing Chrome Dome's original blueprint and design. Chrome Dome first appeared in the Season 5 episode Planet of the Turtleoids and was voiced by Peter Renaday, the same actor that played Splinter in the cartoon. Bring it to Median Park at once. I obey. Planet of the Turtleoids was a one-hour episode that aired in two parts. In part one, Chrome Dome is constructed by Shredder inside the Technodrome lab. Shredder is sparing no expense, and he builds his entire frame out of adamantium. X-Men rip off anyone? The X-Men do, pup. Shredder uses Chrome Dome to assist in the build of the mini Technodrome Mark II, and in part two of the episode, the Turtles finally face off with the colossal Chrome Dome. Luckily, April saves the day by relaying Chrome Dome's only weakness, the ordinary steel control box cover. Donatello jabs his bow staff through the cover and Chrome Dome explodes into a thousand pieces. Chrome Dome makes his second and final appearance in one of my favorite Turtles episodes, The Night of Rogues. Shredder forms an epic posse consisting of the Rat King, Slash, Leatherhead, Tempestra, Scumbug, Antrax, and of course Chrome Dome. The posse wreaks some havoc and eventually capture the turtles. Splinter calls for backup and Casey Jones and Zack help to take Chrome Dome to his final doom by tricking him into a hydraulic press. Included with the new NECA figure is the retro computer Zack uses to decode the turtles' captivity location by attaching what seems to be a jumper cable to Chrome Dome's brain circuitry. Included in the Zack Smash 2-pack, there is an additional Chrome Dome head that has an openable brain where you can attach the jumper cable to the figure. The original 91 Chrome Dome figure was one of my favorites as a kid. The original card back art is so nostalgic, and I love seeing the illustrations and details about the character. NECA kept it nostalgic with the VHS-style art and awesome illustration of Casey holding up Zack on his hockey stick. When NECA released its free digital card back, this is one figure that stood out among the crowd, towering over all the other figures on the card back. The NECA Chrome Dome was sculpted by lead digital sculptor for NECA, Brody Perkins. Alec McTurk of Varner Studios sculpted the original Chrome Dome made for Playmates in 1991. Here we can see some images from the book Rad Plastic that show a much thinner Chrome Dome in the early rough prototype stages. Also, I have some concept artwork from the new Varner Studios book that show Chrome Dome's original blueprint for the toy as well as the weapons. Wow, we recycling works. It's Chrome Dome, the foot mechanized warrior. We've got them outnumbered, dude. Not so fast, turtle stop. How much would a vintage Chrome Dome run you back in the day? Probably anywhere from three to five dollars. A chrome dome today will run you about $30 for a loose one, $70 for a carded one. As a kid, I had a lot of the later run variants of the turtles, including this 1994 Warrior Chrome Dome. Oh boy, do I wish I still had this. This thing goes for some money on eBay. This clip, along with many of the other vintage clips in this video, were donated by my friend Toka Oroku on Instagram. He has an awesome Flickr account that does an amazing job archiving a lot of the vintage clips, photos, cereal boxes, all sorts of neat stuff. What's going on? Nothing that concerns you spacemen. Just us toys. I'd better take a look anyway. Why is that soldier strapped to an explosive device? That's why Sid. A neat toy mashup by my friend Baxter's laboratory combining Buzz Lightyear and Chrome Dome into one awesome figure. What's underneath the chrome, you say? I learned this from the TMNT Customizers group on Facebook. You can actually use some easy off oven cleaner and remove the old chrome on a beat up chrome dome to reveal some awesome different color variations used in the 
plastics underneath, which generally kind of look like a first shot or a test shot of the figure. Another friend on Instagram, Ethan Tarnish, with Speaky Geeky YouTube page, sent me these clips. He also reminded me of this hilarious SNES cutscene at the end of the game if you win the game with Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome apparently has a Chrome girlfriend. Also a newer phone game called Turtles Mutant Madness. He is a playable character. I currently have not unlocked him yet. Another awesome inclusion is in the new Shredder's Revenge game. Once you reach level 13 in the section where you enter Dimension X, you face off against the giant Chrome Dome. This game has some awesome clips and the style in which you fight him where he moves out to a first person view and you are the target. The funny part is you have to hurl the foot soldiers at the screen in order to bring him to where you can take damage. Why does Chrome Dome work such long hours? Because he finds his job so riveting. That's it for this one. Take care until next time. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys. The community online is pretty amazing. Y'all take care out there. See ya.